Hey there, beautiful. It's Philippa Channer, and welcome back to the Marketing 101 for Small Business Owners podcast. This month, we're diving deep into the world of customer acquisition and retention, aka how to snag those dream clients and make them stick around for the long haul. Today, we're going to be kicking off things by tackling the first step, turning interested folks into paying customers. So get ready to learn how to attract the right leads and turn those leads into sales. Before we get into today's message, I have a special announcement to make. Starting the first week in June, this show is going to be going through a huge transformation. We're completely rebranding our show from the cover to the title, our name, and moving to releasing content on Mondays instead of Wednesdays. Lots of changes happening. And soon we're going to be known as the Empower Her Business Accelerator Show, and we're still delivering quality content at a marketing one-on-one level. But don't worry, you don't need to do anything for this change. If you're already subscribed, everything will roll over smoothly for you. And hey, if you love the tips and advice that you're getting and you aren't subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button anytime during the month of May or the follow button wherever it is on your platform and share the show with other entrepreneurs in your crew so that you guys don't miss a beat. So look for those changes coming. I'm excited for what this means for the entire show and for all the stuff that you are going to be experiencing. All right, but now, without further ado, let's get on to today's message. Again, we are talking about attracting those customers and turning them into leads. So first, we need to know who our ideal client is because you can't attract everybody. Before you can start filling in your funnels and start pushing out content, you gotta know who you're aiming for. Get crystal clear on who your ideal client is. What is their problems? What are their goals? What's keeping them up at night? Who are they really? That's gonna help you in when you're creating messaging and basically communicating with them. Picture just one perfect client in your mind. It's way easier than trying to target everybody. Let's say you're a web designer. If your ideal client is an overwhelmed solopreneur needing their first website or a bigger business looking for a sleek revamp, these are two completely different vibes and how you resonate with them is going to sound different. And so if you're trying to hit both of them, your messaging is gonna be off. And so pick one of those and talk to them. It's gonna make your messaging crystal clear. The next thing is cast a wide net but with the right bait. Where does your ideal client hang out? Are they scrolling on Instagram, hitting up industry forums, or are they searching specific keywords on Google? Your goal is to be present in those places, offering helpful content and value that aligns with their needs. Remember, it's about giving first. For example, if if your ideal client searches how to start a food blog, you should write an epic blog post on that topic or even create a a free checklist for them to use in their process of starting their blog. Those are very specific things and that's using keywords and meeting their needs. All right, the next thing you wanna do is craft an irresistible offer. Okay, so you've got their attention, now what? Now that you have them on their site or on your social feed, what are you gonna do with them? You need to give them some low barrier ways to enter and try you out, like a freebie or a mini consultation, a special discount. Think of this as the first taste that hooks them in. All right, make the value to the offer very crystal clear and make it super easy to say yes to. Instead of just signing up for my newsletter, how about grab my free guide, five mistakes new bloggers make and how to fix them. This is way more enticing and sounds way more appealing for people. Right, and then the next thing and the last thing you want to think about is make the ask because sometimes people just need a nudge. Don't assume that your leads know how to work with you. Have a crystal clear call to action on your website, in your content, even in your DMs. You know, book a discovery call, grab this free guide. It takes the guesswork out for them. Be confident in your value. You're solving their problems and you're not begging for business. So simple, ready to get started at the end of your free consultation can work wonders. That's your action plan for attracting those perfect fit leads and getting them knocking on your digital door. If you're feeling overwhelmed, don't sweat it. If streamlining your your sales funnel sounds like a perfect dream right now, so hit me up and schedule your free consultation session with me. We'll map out your strategy that takes the weight off of your shoulders. 
You can find the link in the show notes. And speaking of strategy, tune in to next week when we're diving into the secrets of building customer loyalty and turning those clients into raving fans who come back for more. Until then, you guys, happy lead hunting. Have a great week, and I'll see you later.